Six, episode 14, really focused on this guy right here, Councilman Tate, Rashad Tate. And, yes. of course, we were introduced to his brother, Lamar Tate, on this episode. Welcome yeah. to the show, guys. Hey. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you. We had a good time last night. Yeah, yeah. Nice turnout. Everybody yes. Was, were, 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 they, everybody seemed like they were in tune to what was going on. And, obviously, the billion gazillion dollar question was who shot who ghost, shot right. ghost? Right. Right. they almost it's had me tr- telling on people, people. Yeah, like, listen yeah. man people stressed in these streets <laughs> That Real they are. Life i'm like man we gotta you know fast forward here we get to it but you said something last night that i had no idea because you you swear you don't know who shot ghost because there are different scenes that you guys did to the ending of this show so it could be any of those yeah they people. can drop they can drop any of them and we we filmed a bunch of different versions mm. of it. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, stars and the people that run those kinds of things are pretty good about, you know, keeping everybody kind of guessing, even yeah. after. So, you know, I, I'm excited to see what's going to happen on the next episode. But as you all know, uh, spoiler alert, that uh, Councilman Tate uh, was not the shooter. You know I mean? <laughs> so y'all can stop asking me. When I'm, you know, at the grocery store, or I'm going Deals. through the air, yeah, I'm, in, I'm going to the, you know, through the airport. You no, know, I'm at the gas station. Stop asking me, cause I didn't do it. <laughs> but the boy said, "Governor or nothing." <laughs> exactly. You know what's so incredible watching you two on together on on this last episode was some things. You know, when you're acting, you can't fake, and you can't fake a bond. And we got to see that on screen last night. And this wasn't the first time you all acted alongside each other, but the first time in a very long time. Correct. Right. Yeah, it's been since 1989. Uh, or 90 something, was something. Yeah. it was Put a it long time 90s, ago we was man. kids Put it in the we back in the gap yeah yeah, yeah we, we were babies and yeah. so to have my brother Lamar on was amazing uh, Courtney Kemp who's the creator of the show who's our boss along with 50 Cent you know they were talking about my character in this particular episode you will see a little bit more about him because oftentimes you don't see what goes on with Rashad Tate. You know, right. he comes in, he kind of fights and does what he does with, with Ghost, and then he's gone. We're going to see more uh, about who he is and what his life is and the sort of his backstory, and they wanted to bring his family uh, to show uh, a little bit more humanity in this man and who he is. And uh, when we were talking about the casting process, Courtney Kemp and I, you know, she was like, well, who's going to play your brother? <laughs> and I was like... My brother, <laughs> He's gonna play my brother, yeah. and she thought it was originally was she thought I was was talking about my brother Laron, who's our producing partner. Uh-huh. I said he's an actor too. He's still he's it's been a while, but I'm talking about Lamar, who's been doing a lot of stuff. And she was like, "Yes, that's the guy, that's him." And that so, part, <laughs> yeah. So it was nice to uh, for us to reunite yeah. again on screen. And again, that whole thing about the bond of the brother. The brotherhood, the camaraderie, you see that it was just uh, seamless and natural. I got a call from Mario Van Peebles, who was the director of that episode uh, late last night, and he said, yo, what you guys were able to do with those you know, scenes together was just just fluid and just real and natural and wasn't manufactured and was just, you know, it was, it was truth and it was real. And it was. I'm really grateful to Courtney and everyone over at Stars and, and the writers and 50, or allow me to, you know, come on and, and rock on the show. And I got to shout out Omari Hartwick, who plays James St. Patrick, a- a- a.k.a. Ghost, <laughs> who was really uh, instrumental in bringing me on the show mm-hmm. uh, all together. Mm-hmm. So tip my hat off to uh, Big Brother O. Yeah. And uh, Lamar, man, you know, so, so <laughs> nice. What was your experience, man? You know what? It was a awesome experience, to be honest with you, um, to be able to come on a stellar, highbrow show where yeah. it was the number one show, it is the number one show, and to be a part of an ingredient to the pot, you know, and to be with you as my brother. I mean, it was difficult a little bit, you know. What was difficult about it? Because you had to bring your A game to the table. Mm -hmm. There's Mm -hmm. no short stops. There's no second hand to it. You have to be at your best. Um, You're coming in with a season of six, you know, full seasons and, you know, veteran actors and actresses, and, you know, they're at the top of the food chain with it and so being the professional that I am it was a great time it was a great experience uh got to thank Courtney as well and 50 and Eric Howard who had uh Hayward I'm sorry who had written the episode 
and it was an amazing time. Lorenz and I, chemistry was undeniable. I was going to say what I did love about your character was the family dynamic that it brought because we hadn't seen a family dynamic like that right. on power because, you know, um, <laughs> James and Patrick and his family are very, very dysfunctional. Yes. That, you know, <laughs> and that was the one thing that I found interesting when I read the script is that it was showing stability for Councilman Tate. It was showing, you know, a functional side and humanity for his character. He's not this, you know, back and forth um underseating type of person his mm -hmm. personality was he's a he's a politician yeah you have to you know move like water it's different things that come different dynamics so for him to have a family who's in a you know same world as he he had a backstory that he was a police officer i was a police officer so that chemistry was there and then just the fact that i had a wife and a child and he was he was a part of that that was wonderful that was wonderful to see we power recap i finally get to sit down um Lorenz, I've been wanting to tell you this, brother. I, I want to thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this season, brother, you came in, and uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, you was the only one having sex this season, brother. Ah, was, hilarious. I was like, man, ain't nobody having sex this season. And my boy came he through. Was hey. Listen, man. You I, was getting I didn't know it was going to happen. Um, Courtney Kemp just said, yo, you need to get in the gym and start doing some squats. I was like, doing squats? <laughs> right, right. What am I doing squats for? Like, what are we talking about? She's like, because it's time. I was like, oh, yeah. is it time? <laughs> why, why, why Councilman got, why, why, who's he, who he's smashing? Right, Why, 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 why you, no, Walk they me through like, this. like, no, so, um, and I know Lala was like, yeah, bro, hey, bro, it's your turn, it's your turn. I'm talking to everyone, the tourist's like, yeah, it's your turn. And I'm like, wow, man, because, you know, uh, you know, Omari Hardware, he's ghosted. He's legendary yeah. out here with all his <laughs> stuff with Angela Valdez and, you know, and all the, and all that nonsense that they, you know, be putting yeah. out. They was risking it all. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, they my were, gosh. They were. But, no, it was, it, listen, it's part, of, it's part of the show. I tell anybody, y'all you you, come on power, you know, chances are you dropping trial. You're going to yeah. drop, <laughs> drop these draws. <laughs> It's happening. I was watching you watch yourself yesterday at the screening, and yeah. how did it feel watching yourself back though on the screen? And you watched it on a real big screen yesterday. Yeah, man. It was popcorn was and like, everything. It was popcorn and everything. I mean, you know, I've I've seen myself up there a few times in the past, so you know, um, again, it's just sort of part of the yeah the, the job, and it's kind of weird when people ask you how do you feel about it because. On set, you just want to just do what you got to do. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm just going to do what I need to do. I ain't, right. trying to, yeah, I ain't trying to make more than what it is, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but it's one of those scenes when you're doing those love scenes, it's like people around. There's people, like, around. That's awkward. And so, yeah, it's very awkward, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, you know. And... Like, Rolling. Yeah, rolling. It's like, uh, oh, sh okay. <laughs> Let me make sure this is cool. Does this, does this look right? Does like, And you already know right. that... The power fans are going to dissect everything. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, you know what I mean. So you gotta you gotta have something that's you know at least watchable right. you know, before they go and just completely butcher you on social media. No, but I you know it's it's fine. It's but you good. you've been doing scenes like that even from yeah. like Love Jones. Yeah, sure. How what? And I've always wondered. With actors, what space do you have to take yourself? Because you're an actor, obviously, so you you have to you're acting. Yeah. But what space do you have to I wake up in the morning and say, "Hey, I gotta go tackle this sex scene." Yeah. Today's the day I'm gonna put Today down I'm gonna that put it down. Yeah, <laughs> I, if, you, if you're in a relationship, just leave, leave. If you're a female, leave your man at home. <laughs> you saying, fellas, leave your lady at the crib, and you gotta go. And the, I find that if you have some kind of connection. Some kind is, is is much better than n no connection with that person at all. Okay, right. you know, so on some level, because after you know, it just seems it's already mechanical anyway, right. mm -hmm. and so it has to be passionate. It has to be yeah. something that people are gonna talk about. Right, and you know, usually you know you don't really prepare for it. Although on power, we do kind of work out some of the semantics. You 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 want to make sure that hey, you cool. We good? Oh, the good. director's right. there. Right, right, there's, right, right. there's, you know, especially with, you know, the, the Me Too movement yeah. that's going on. Everybody yep. has to be, we, listen, I'm letting them, letting them. <laughs> yeah, look into my eyes. Right, right, right. They ain't got nothing I don't want nothing don't from you, Shorty. None. Yeah. <laughs> Understand. Let's make sure that we just doing what we got to do. Right. And uh, we keep it moving. My wife said this was okay <laughs> today. <laughs> right. my, wife is, my wife is cool. She gets it. She understands. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I told her. Did I tell him? My, me and my wife, we be on some different stuff too. What? 
You know, the first time I, we, we rode together to go get the gas money. Oh, I thought you were mad. He, he be on, y'all be no. on some paper. So I'm like, excuse me? No, no, no. no. Me, <laughs> me, when me and my wife got together, uh-huh. um, she was talking to this guy, a friend of hers. Right. And uh, he called her, and we was on the way to the movies. Uh-huh. And she was like, hey, bro, got this got this card note. I say, well, <laughs> well, let's go pick it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he looked out, looked out the window and waved. She blew the horn. I'm like, my guy, I was cousin Keati. <laughs> hey, you, know? you got your you got to have going that, on. Yeah, you got to yeah. have that communication Understood. though. Yeah, no, but we we do what we got to do, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, power is a show that has all kinds of things, and people look for those those scenes. And I was the only one to uh, to have them this this season. You I, was I, I I didn't write it. I was just, you drew I just the short to, stick this listen, season. I just had to do what I needed to do, and it's all good. Power has some really passionate fans. I want to say first. Um, what do you think it is about power that because sometimes with TV shows after season two I drop off right you know but with power we continuously come back um, number one and the, the 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 fan base is so strong so much that they were forced to take Trey songs off the redo of the, yeah, <laughs> the intro song got my boy. And, and go back to Joe on it yeah we were talking about that this morning yeah you know Fifty had all the right intentions to you know do something different you know and the fans just was like look we. Waited a long time to hear that <laughs> anthem. That is yeah. like, you know, a renowned anthem. When people hear it, everything shuts down. Uh, and they wanted it. And, he, you know, he was wise enough to, and everyone was wise enough to bring it back to give the fans what they wanted. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing. The Power fans are like family. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, these are people who come to watch every Sunday, like they go into somebody's mm-hmm. mama house to have dinner yeah. on Sunday and kick up they, they they feet and watch the game and it becomes a real thing for people. And because the characters are so real, mm. the characters mean so much to the people that the audiences truly get lost in the world. That mm-hmm. honestly is make believe. Mm-hmm. But it's rooted in truth and reality because there is a James St. Patrick yeah. walking around. There is a Tasha yeah. walking, walking around. around right. There's a Lakeisha. There's an Angela Valdez. There is a Tommy, right? There is a Dre, and there's certainly a Councilman Tate. And so, and there's a Tariq. We identify with that in such a way right. that it's hard for us to get out of Yeah what we're seeing because we're so invested. And before I got on the show, I was a huge fan and I was equally invested in the show. I mean, you you want to know what's going on and everyone has their theories and figuring things out yeah. and you stay so engaged that, you know, the writers and the producers and the network understands the power of the audience. Mm. I mean, it's really strong. And again, we are truly, you know, we love the, the Power family, the fans that support us. W- what can you say? I mean, I'm coming into a show that is truly for the culture. I've been able to do projects in movies that truly uh, mm-hmm. represented and was a reflection and was really embraced by the culture and right. films, you know. And I've done a lot of television, but not quite like this. Mm-hmm. And we don't have enough representation of ourselves like this so we can truly be invested, you know? So, um, yeah, the, 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 the season from one, two, three, four, all the way till six until now, I mean, people just, again, on the edge of their, their seats. Have you wrapped your mind around the fact mm-hmm. the last episode is almost here? <sighs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I have wrapped my mind around it because I know that what else is to come? There's going to... The power universe is not over. Mm-hmm. Okay. So okay. that off. part, I, I'm like, okay, I get it. So there's there's the power universe, you know, Mary J. Blige and mm-hmm. Method Man, they have a I've they have the, the, yeah, okay. they, they got their going that thing going on and it's it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be it's gonna be fire in the same space and the same thing. So the f- audiences are gonna still be fed the power mm-hmm. dynamic and the power energy that doesn't go away. So it allows me to kind of wrap my mind around okay. it. But change is hard. So people are kind of, you know, Upset about dealing it. with, yeah. you know, ch- change is very difficult, especially for something um, so beloved like this series, Power. Do you think that it's good to stop it now? But if if you guys wanted to take it further, could it still continue to go on? Or is this a good place to just stop it? It's a bittersweet scenario, but I think it is a, a great time to to stop it because it's at the top 
of your mm. you don't you don't want to go on a on a decline where mm. you're in the, the season nine. Yeah. And <laughs> you like, know oh and, and who knows what's going on at, at that time. I feel like if they open up and branch off with the power universe, you still get again the power you dynamics. But in a different space, in a right. different so you're still on the same frequency, but it's just kind of presented mm. slightly different. Mm. And there's more mileage right. out of those stories right. and out of those shows, and you can continue to, you know, go as far as you as you want, rather than you know, beating this all the way down. So you, you got nothing else to, to talk about. So. With you guys having no idea how this is going to end, since they shot alternate endings and things like that, where will you be watching the final show at? Uh, in New York City. Okay. We're going to yeah. be doing a screening in Can New York come? City. Yeah, yeah, come on out. Y'all all invite. <laughs> everybody from Houston. Everybody. Y'all, yeah, everybody from Houston. Yeah, 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 we we, we, we taking Houston right. to New York. Let's go. Let's do it. Straight like that. Yeah. Um, Man, I, I've always wanted to know. First of all, watching Love Jones as an adult, I'm like... He really ain't shit. Cause as a youngster, you're like, oh, we want them, we want the, this love to. But I'm like, he ain't. After I've been through some things, I'm like, he ain't shit. Love Jones. Love Jones is 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 a is a classic, and you know, uh, the Councilman Tate is just something different. It's definitely a departure from the things I've done in the past. I'm truly grateful. Whether you love or hate him, understand that Tate is a person who is out. Um, to succeed and he's a winner and he is going to continue to thrive no matter what and he won't stop and um again i'm just happy to have had the opportunity to work with great talent as the people a part of of power right. uh, they gave me an opportunity to work with my brother uh, and again it's for the culture and yes, i appreciate the, the the power of the family and you cannot yeah. overlook the fact before you leave the one line that you would not cross was family Yes. Not at all. Yes, and we talked about that. The the thing that, that gives Rashad true hum humanity is the fact that he would not sell his family out. He's a man of, of moral morals and dignity and, and integrity, and I think that is reflected in 614. So y'all continue to check it out. I appreciate you pointing that out. It's Governor or Nothing, Lamar and Lorenz Tate. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Power. Appreciate y'all.